DJ Calm Down, Calm Down TV. Very, very special guest today, Kiara the Soul Child. Kiara. It's Kiara, yeah. <laughs> actually, correct the people. Um, <laughs> is that the real name? Kiara the Soul Child, yeah, that's it. Who put the Soul Child on there? You put that on there, or is that yeah. like some old folks put that on there? I used to go by my name, like Kiara Aldridge. Yeah. And then Soul Child was just something that people would call me. Yeah. So at the time, the girl that was managing me, she was like, you should just call yourself Kiara the Soul Child. Had that so, voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, how long ago was it? Um, I was about 16, 17 years old. Yeah. Okay. So when did you first get into music? Well, actually, before we start with the music, because of course we know you do music, let's start with where you from. I'm from West Tennessee. I'm from Paris, Tennessee, originally. Okay. Now take us back, uh, growing up, how was growing up in Paris, Tennessee? A lot of them blacks, and you, you outside, what were you, what were you up to? Um, growing up in Paris, Tennessee, but really, growing up, I was a troubled child, to be honest. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, you know, I had problems, paying attention in class, um, <laughs> just <laughs> typical Kiara shit, you know. You like, were a talker? Yeah, I was a talker too, but I also didn't listen, okay. you know. <laughs> yeah. So. But you have favorite subjects or favorite things? Or? English. English and history were always my favorite subjects. Okay. Yeah. All right. And three, two. Do you have any favorite subjects or anything, though? English and history were my favorite subjects in school. Okay. Uh, active, any, ever play any sports, anything like that? Um, growing up in like middle school, all throughout middle school and somewhat high school, I ran track and cross country. Yeah. So yeah, I did that. Um, so how did you balance doing all that with the singing? When did you, when did singing come in, or was that always? Yeah, singing. Was, I've been singing since I could talk. Really. Okay. You know, but like I didn't start profession doing it professionally and taking it serious till I got to so to high school, like my sophomore freshman year, okay. something like that. Yeah. Okay. But um, now, well, um, you said since you can almost talk, um, what type of music were you singing? Was this whatever? The, of course, your parents were playing, or at the time I was living with my grandparents. Okay. So anything they could on, I was singing Tina Turner, okay. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, <laughs> <laughs> all that. Okay. That's what I started, yeah, just singing around the house. And okay. like, you can sing? What? <laughs> yeah. Now, what, um, then was it something that, like, would you show, showcase it to other people? No. No. I was definitely, like, I had stage fright. Yeah. I couldn't even go on stage. I couldn't even talk without my voice shaking. Yeah. Or my hands shaking. Okay. <laughs> so, I wasn't, you know, doing none of that. I was too shy. Okay. Speaking of shy, uh, Kind of when I first discovered you on Instagram, you was on uh, doing a song, or I'm not sure if, if it was a real song, but you, you was doing a song with Pretty Shy in the yeah. studio. How did y'all link in? What's y'all connection? Well, me and Shy, we're from the same city, Murfreesboro. Mm -hmm. And um, she went to Seawell High School, I went to Riverdale. And um, we always followed each other on Instagram, like since we were really young. Okay. Um, but she uh, she knew I could sing and she knew I was starting to do it professionally. Okay. So she hit me up. She was like, I got a song. I want you to get on. And we started from there. Yeah. And we did a couple little tracks, but they were all her songs. Okay. So I just did, like, you know, some hooks on there, mm -hmm. melodies, all types of stuff. That's how we got to work with each other. Okay. Now, um, when did you first go, like, all the way publicly? Have you got any of your songs out publicly? Mm -hmm. um, and where are they at? Oh, they're on iTunes, they're on all streaming platforms. Um, so I had to look at public, let's say. Really, like, when I was in high school, I would do the talent shows and stuff, like, in middle school. And then I did them in high school, too, so everybody knew I could sing. So that's kind of like when I went publicly and started showcasing myself. Okay. But, um, you know, having my own music and stuff, I was uh, 16 doing it um, when I had that girl managing me and she was teaching me everything like to know about the business right. so yeah. yeah now um recently i seen you on a track with uh got an outsider and you was doing a little bit rapping <laughs> yeah. 
So, are you? Would you call yourself a rapper slash singer, or you? What can we expect from Kia Soulchild? Uh, okay, it's a lot of stuff. I'm uh -oh. Actually, really, it's just like I like to call it like my poetry. I don't really say I'm a rapper, you know, because it's like I sing and I. I don't know, it's kind of like poetry, so yeah. that's what I like to call it. Okay. Um, who's maybe some of your music inspiration growing up other than what your grandparents or whoever else was playing? Who did you kind of grow towards? Um, let's see. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But um, I would say like some of my biggest um, inspirations are Miguel. Frank Ocean. Um, it's a lot of people. I know you got like a top five singers or something. Oh, yeah. Like I said, Miguel, Frank Ocean would be one. Um, Lauren Hill, India Irene. Um, yeah, like I. I like a lot of the old school yeah. music, like the 90s R&B. You, you did the Lauryn Hill and the talent show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did. Who was the guy that did the beatboxing? Um, AC. He was an underclassman guy. Yeah. And it's crazy because I had met him in my sculpture class. I took all the art classes when I was in school. I took okay. all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and he was in the sculpture class with me. And we just started talking. We became cool. And he was like, um, he could sing for one, too. And um, he could beatbox, he could draw, he does it all. He's really artistic. But we was just, you know, and then when we came up with that, the talent show act, we did that in the classroom. We came up with that. And then, like, two days later, we signed up because they were having a senior talent show. Mm -hmm. That's when I was graduating. And he did it with me in the senior talent show. Okay. So, yeah. Well, um, yeah, Lauren Hill. If you had to, um, <clears throat> if you had a chance to do a feature with any artist, uh, who would you do a feature with? <laughs> um, a lot of people, like Frank Ocean. Um, you have to pick one. Oh, you got to oh, pick one. Oh, that's hard. They could be listening right now. The best song. <laughs> what do you think? Well, now, go ahead. You can give me, give me a few. A few? Yeah. I would say Miguel. Um, Lauren Hill, Music Soul Child, Andre 3000. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of, <laughs> you okay. know. Now, how you get your music done? You freestyle, you write, you. How you like to get in the studio and get it done? I like to write. I like to take my time. Like, um, some stuff I have, you know, freestyle and done it. But I really like to just like process it and write it out. Mm -hmm. And you know, the more I look at it and go back and better it, then I go from there. But some stuff I have freestyle. I've been getting better with like, you know, writing and doing my poetry and stuff just because I've been going to a lot of open mics mm -hmm. and stuff. So it has like, I say I've grown as an artist like a lot, getting used to writing stuff because when I was younger, I didn't know how I was going to like write my own songs and stuff. I didn't yeah. think I could do it. Yeah. So I tapped into, you know, my creativity. Yeah. So, yeah. So the poetry, um, what maybe uh, made you like that so much? Well, it, I know some people, I was talking to, uh, that's my partner Dizzle, about how I felt like one of my favorite artists was good at poetry because when he was in school, I was like, the teacher probably made him do poetry and he lo he loved it so much and he just became great at it. But how what made you like poetry so much? Well, I thought, like I said, I was like English and stuff. All I was right. like reading. Mm -hmm. But um, like, I just, you know, watching other people, um, my cousin outside and we have a music group, Platinum Studies music group. Mm -hmm. And everybody in the group is like MCs and they're all rappers. Yeah. I'm the only singer there. Okay. So just, you know, being around a lot of them, mm -hmm. that's where I got the inspiration from. Yeah. And then, you know, I started figuring out a way I could tell my story doing it. So it's just, you know, it's cool, like how you can get around other people and just get inspired like that. Right. So. Okay. Um, What's one of your favorite songs that you feel like you put together? My favorite song. Like if fans was watching this and you 
they had time on their lunch break or something okay. to go check out one. What's one song they can check out for sure? Excuse me. I know people tell me all the time they like that song. Excuse me. That song. I dropped it last year on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Shit hard. <laughs> Shit hard. It's dope. Yeah. You know? And I was in school, I, that's when I dropped it my senior year. I was getting people coming up to me that I don't even know telling me that they listening to my music. And then it would be like, it would be people that I know that tell me, like this one girl told me she saw somebody in the hallway with their headphones in. And they had it on their phone and they sitting there singing the lyrics, but they don't even realize, you know. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was dope. it was trending too. Whenever on Apple Music when I dropped it the same day it was trending. I had a teacher come up to me and say, Are you a recording artist? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I seen your song trending on Apple Music the other day. She said, I had no idea you never say nothing about you recording. Because yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm kinda reserved and quiet. But yeah. Uh, where can the fans uh, follow you and all that good stuff? At Kiara the Soul Child on Instagram, um, Twitter at Kiara Aldridge, and yeah. If they want to find a what's it called excuses, right? Excuse me, yeah. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, if they want to uh, find this song, where can they find it? At? That's on Apple Music, Spotify, it's on all streaming platforms. So yeah, and that too, and my other song that I do with my band, Kickback. That's gonna be on there. Now, I know a lot of people are like, man, just ask her the question, when are you going on making the band? Oh. How did that come about? What was your, I mean, we've seen some of the reaction on social media, mm -hmm. but tell us about that situation. 